In this video, we'll create a timeline graph with editable values using data binding, lists, and a formula converter. So we have these three values, the initial value, that in this case, it's the ER number, and anything you type in here will change the value from the starting point. Then we have the number of segments that add or remove segments one by one. And then we have the segment value, which applies a formula that multiplies the initial value by any number typed in the field. So now we have one and it's going to increase by one, but if we have two, it doubles it and so on. Let's go back a few steps and start building from there. So we are going to start from this artboard that is called segment. It contains some layouts and a text. Okay, now let's create a view model and add a list index property. We also need a string converter, convert to string. Make sure these two boxes are checked and don't forget to bind the artboard to the view model. We'll leave it as it is for now and come back later to work on the text run. Next step, we are going to create a main artboard and call it main and a new view model called main also with uh, three number properties. One will be the initial value, the other is the number of segments and the third one is the segment value. Add a new converter, number to list. With the converter selected in the left panel, bind it to segment view model. Don't forget to bind the artboard to the main view model. Now on the hierarchy, we are going to create a child layout and an artboard list. Once the artboard list is added, you can assign any number property from any view model to it. So in this case, we need the number of segment property from the main view model. Then right click and update bind and add the converter number to list. Now let's go back to the segment artboard for a moment. Select the text run and bind it to the initial value property and add the convert to string. Okay, back in the main artboard, let's play the state machine and see what happens. Right now, all values are set to zero and that's why nothing shows up. Let's change the number of segments and see what happens. Let's also change the initial value. Let's set the current year. And now if we go and change the segment value, nothing happens yet. And to make this work, we need a formula and a group converter. Let's set that up. Add a formula converter. And on the left panel, complete the formula. Click the plus icon and select input. Then choose an add operation and create another input. What's inside this bracket will come from the segment view model. You can use the pick whip from the data panel to link it easily. Okay, now add one more operation, multiply and create another input. Inside this bracket, link the segment value. I'm going to use the pick whip again. This is the formula. Adds one to the list index value, multiplies it by the segment value, and then applies it dynamically. Next step is creating the group converter. Remember, we have the text run using a convert to string. We still need this converter, but we also need the formula. That's where the group converter comes in. Okay, let's go back to the data panel, add a converter group. And on the left with the plus icon, let's add an existing uh, converter. 
And here the order is important. So we're gonna select the formula first and then the convert to string. Okay, now with the text run selected, update bind and replace the convert to string with the converter group. Then play the state machine on the main airport again and change the values and see that it's working. One, it's increasing the year by one, two, it's multiplying it by two, and so on as is expected.